thing about it. Went through my day, got off the air. On the way home, something said to me, you know what, maybe you should go buy a new one. Because I thought that one was broken. So I'll be honest, I stopped, I bought one for each floor. When I got them home and I plugged them in, they were blaring. Because you realize carbon monoxide is odorless, it didn't smell like anything, and I thought it couldn't be happening to me. Well, thank goodness. I did that because those carbon monoxide detectors saved my life and my family's life. When I called 911, they came and they made sure that everything was fine. So, you know, I started with saying we re recommended that people change their batteries and their smoke detectors, mm -hmm. but people don't necessarily think of carbon monoxide detectors. So right. I love that Pat James Dementry says that story. I'm Rachel. This is Erica Swineford, Hi. and she brings us um, great solutions for our daily household. Well, this is that life saving solution mm -hmm. because just like your smoke detector is there to save your life, a carbon monoxide detector is there to save your life. And so we have them at a sale price that's only here till the end of the day of under $30. Mm -hmm. This is kind of like your insurance in the same way that you have your exit plan, your stop, drop, and roll, right. and your exit plan with your smoke detector. You want to make sure you've got that exit plan with a carbon monoxide detector. It's $28.48, six easy payments of $4.75, but get this, this is your investment, and it lasts for 10 yes. years. <laughs> 10 years. 10 years. Amortize $28.48 over 10 years, and you're right. like, is your life worth that much a year? Right. Is my life worth that much a year? Uh, let's talk about carbon monoxide. What is it, yes. and how big is this you know, problem, I guess, of carbon monoxide leaks creating sure. a challenge. Well, carbon monoxide is caused by the incomplete combustion of fossil fuels, which sounds kind of scientific, but basically it's when things malfunction that burn, you know, oil, coal, wood, propane, natural gas, so things that we all have in our homes. And it's a very common occurrence. Actually, between 2006 and 2010, the National Fire Protection Association found that there were 72,000 incidents reported of carbon monoxide per year. Wow. Um, and just to put it, you know, a little more personal, we right. probably all know someone who's been affected. And if not, if not knowing somebody personally, you've heard or read in the newspapers or on the news about, you know, people Families who've passed succumbing. away from it because mm -hmm. it's odorless and colorless and tasteless. So that's why this is the most important product that I represent on QVC because the only way to know that you have a carbon monoxide leak in your home is with a detector like this one. That's the only way. Right. And the thing is, is that you might be going, okay, Rachel and Erica, I'm listening now. I'm sitting forward on my couch and I'm listening, right. but I was shocked at all the places that carbon monoxide can leak <laughs> in our homes. Right. So we have a graphic to share with you because it's so crazy. You would think, wow, I'm vulnerable because of this in my home. Erica, walk us through these. Right. I was shocked. Me too. I mean, a lot of us, I think we grew up thinking, well, I don't have a fireplace. So I wouldn't have carbon monoxide, but actually it comes from sources that are in all of our homes. So water heater, check. We all have one of those, right? A furnace, check. We all have one of those. Generators, and if you use a generator, please always keep it outside, not in your garage or in right. the house. But grills, um, automobiles that are in your garage or even your neighbor's attached garage, if you're in a townhouse or condominium, clothing dryers, your kitchen range and vent. Yes, fireplaces is on there as well. Mm -hmm. um, chimneys and even portable heaters, you know, going into this time of year. So you see, if you live in a home, right. really the potential for carbon monoxide is there and you won't know it's there um, if you have something malfunction. Because we know things malfunction all the time, right? You know, things malfunction on a regular basis. You won't know if there's a leak unless you have a detector. So we recommend minimally that every house has one but we really recommend one for every level because if it's going off in the basement and you're up on the second floor sleeping mm -hmm. you are not going to hear it so we recommend one for every level and if you have heavy sleepers like my teenage daughter who's a very heavy sleeper we recommend putting them inside the bedroom so that they hear it. again it only works if you hear it so. and here's the thing you know carbon monoxide is insidious it's not like you'll smell the no. carbon monoxide or you'll taste it you know, like mm -hmm. something in your throat that the carbon monoxide, you won't. That's why you do need something like this, mm -hmm. right? You need a detector to do it because that is going to be detecting the gas in your home. Right. It's $28 and 48 cents. This sale price goes away at the end of the day. Uh, if you've got loved ones who sleep at home in your, you know, in your home, you love yourself. You're staying in your home. Again, just as smoke detectors, you want a carbon monoxide detector. Right. And the great thing about it is that while as a weather woman, I would remind you every season, we're springing forward, we're falling back. Mm -hmm. change the batteries in your smoke detector. This is here for 10 years. It is. It's a 10 year battery. Will you show us how this yes. works and kind of what we would expect if it's going off sure. or how to set it up? 
Right, so I, okay. I hope we've convinced you to get a carbon monoxide detector if you don't have one. This one's a great one to get because of that 10-year permanent power battery. So the battery is embedded into the unit. Once you pull the tab, which it will come with when you okay. get it, and that's going to keep the batteries fresh for you. You're going to simply pull this out when you get it home. Then it has a, a little sticker on the side that you can write the date that you activated it. It also will have a special chirp at the end of 10 years to let you know, hey, you know, my time's up. I protected you for 10 years. Time to replace. But that's all there is to it. It. We give you a screw so you can mount it if you like, but it's also very nice because you can just you sit set it, it down. anywhere. So you can sit it, you know, on your nightstand, on the mantle, in your living room, really anywhere because it's just very inconspicuous and takes up little space. Yeah, you know what? It's four and a half inches uh, tall, and so and about two and a half mm -hmm. inches wide. So it's small. I'm gonna hold it in the palm of my hand. It's right. like you know a little bit uh, longer than a deck of cards, and as you can see, it's about two inches high. So super easy. The yes. sale price is twenty eight forty eight, and the sale goes away at the the end of the day we actually don't have that many to go around and we have no reorder on this so once we get through our quantity that's it on this it's v33657 we're about to go into the season like if you might be going right. well why why now right well because if you do have a fireplace people are probably using it right and you're turning um, on your hvac to, systems we're choosing, right we're turning yes. on our heat which is what one of those sources mm -hmm. we're closing our windows making right. us more vulnerable it's not like the carbon monoxide is going to escape we don't have our windows open right we're using our washer and dryer as we always do Absolutely. but we're closed we've we, you know we're very closed in I mean I know I grew up in Minneapolis it's cold outside a lot of um, homes there have attached garages right you know and it's gonna be cold maybe you're warming up your right. car heaven forbid in the garage even though you've got the garage door open that exhaust absolutely right carbon monoxide this is why you need a protector this is gonna let you know and speaking of the time of year again the National Fire Protection Association found in 2012 that half of all of the reports that whole year were between November and February, wow. peaking in December. So time. now is the time of year. And it, it, a lot of it has to do with our fireplaces, our HVAC systems that haven't been run maybe in six months. Now we're turning them on. So if something's mm -hmm. not quite right about them, even if you have them serviced regularly, it you know it only takes one thing to malfunction one time. And so if it would detect How's carbon monoxide in your home, yeah. let's let you hear what it sounds okay. like. So this, um, we've modified this one to show a reading. Um, there is an actual carbon monoxide in the studio, but this is what you'd hear if it detects it in your home. You hear four loud beeps followed by a pause, then it'll be another four beeps. And that would continue cycling until you hit the silence button here. You also see it shows a numerical reading. What that does is allow you to give some kind of information to emergency services before they get there. So they kind of know a little bit about what they're heading into. But if it does go off in your home, get out of your house immediately mm -hmm. let emergency services come and determine the source of the leak because they're trained to do that they have the special equipment um and then you know again this is just keeping you safe you know what uh, and uh, again i love that this is reading for us because it's not like somebody can say oh well maybe it's not right so if you have a carbon monoxide detector never second guess it mm -hmm. just do the right. follow right. instructions and go it's colorless odorless tasteless right right so i can't second guess well i don't taste anything i'll smell right. anything i feel okay well, exactly right. that's the point this is why we have a carbon monoxide alarm for you so just follow instructions if you get these four beeps when you get these home get out of the house call your emergency services workers and just stay outside the house it's six easy payments of four dollars and 75 cents we have no reorder on these and as i mentioned not that many to go around. We broadcast in over 100 million households, and so when we say not that many, we really mean not that many. Uh, and this is the 10 year life. I've been selling these for a while, and this was new. That they didn't always right. have a 10 year battery life, and, and now they do. And where do we put yes, them in our homes? And I love that. So um, we recommend every house needs at least one, but we really recommend one on every level because if it's going off in the basement and you're up on the second floor, you may not hear, hear it. it. So mm -hmm. we want to make sure you have one that you hear it. If you have heavy sleepers, we recommend putting them inside every bedroom. But you know now is again the perfect time of year because we're cranking on those HVAC systems that maybe haven't run. You know maybe our heat hasn't run in six months or so and so this is the way to know if you would have a leak at home and really a carbon monoxide detector is the only way to know if you have a leak we do have a graphic of where these come from just remind us one more time yes. because as you're watching and you're going okay does that really make sense do I, to would me? i have carbon monoxide it's yeah. funny because i talk to a lot of people here and um, i didn't know where after they i get from. off air they'll say well I, 
would I, I have carbon monoxide? And I say yes. Yeah. Every every home There's has her. the potential because it comes from places like our water heaters. You know, check. We all have one of those furnaces. Check. Check. A uh, fireplace if you have one. Your range or vent in the kitchen. Yep. Clothing dryers. Check. Clothing. Idling yep. automobiles. Grills. Generators. Portable heaters going into this time of year. Um, and chimneys. So it's just so important that whether you get this one or not, that every home has at least one. Yeah. Um, and. That is the key, safe. this one or not, but please have one. We are a shopping community. We love you. We want to keep you safe. This is one of those keep you safe for you, yes. for your house, loved ones. Send them, you know, you could even send them to um, kids who are in college right. because in their dorms. So. And we travel with ours. We take it when we go places to hotels because you're just, you're just not sure if they have one. So, and I've heard of people in hotels before being affected by it. So. Thank Take you. With you. Thanks, Erica. <laughs> Sail away at the end of the day. No reorder on this one, and we are now limited. Thanks, Miss Erica. So, oh my goodness. This is something that I want you to know that we've got coming up. It happens to be my pick of the show. Hi. We're just going to say hi. I'm just doing a flyby. This is me flying by. This is Home Reflections. The sheets are coming up. Nice to see you, doll. In a few minutes, 800 thread count. Nanotex. Moisture wicking. All right, I'm going over to Sarah Cotalesi. Yes, I am. Hello, Miss Sarah Cotalesi. Nice to see you. Me too, Rachel. She's a mom now of a college student. I am. How cool is that? In um, the blink of an eye. In the blink like of that. an eye. And guess what we need to do at college? <laughs> study. We have things we need to study. Yeah. And we want to do it like on our bed, sitting like this, with maybe our laptop. And this is the perfect way to do it. It's the iCozy lap desk. It's got a built-in compartment holder and a portable USB light. It's awesome. And it's at a clearance price. Like, how did we get so lucky? Awesome. $29.7. Seventy-one is the price, and the easy pay. Two easy payments of fourteen eighty-six. And Sarah, lots of colors on this, and you actually made some modifications thanks to you because we're a shopping community. But will you show us the colors? Because these yeah, are super awesome cute. Colors. Look at look at this. They go right on your lap and they're really malleable. Okay, yeah. go ahead. And what honey. I love about Sorry. Wood Eye Cozy, I mean, it's all about accessories that help organize your life. Yeah. If you can simplify it, it's great. The fact then that you have so many colors that fit into every single decor is just wonderful. So we'll start here. Yes, yeah, so we're starting here. I love Pretty. this one. All the tops are going to be the solid color, and then we have um, the microbead plush side. So this is our turquoise lace. Pretty, and look at the turquoise top. Yeah. And then yep. we have our purple geo. Love it. We have our blue denim. Blue jeans. Right here. And mm -hmm. look at this one. This is actually, it's a navy blue top, and it's called blue cat eye, which I love that one. Um, this one is our wood light gray. Mm -hmm. And this one right here, this look is our, I know, I love this one. This is our um, plaid. I think, it's, are we calling it buffalo plaid? We or black check. Maybe black check. Okay, with a black top on this one, but this color right here is so on trend right now in the whole world of you know home decor. Then we have our gray chevron. Then we have our solid black. So it's both the black top and the black um, 